Hey, this is Darwin Gross uh, here with a couple of beat minutes for this month. Uh, this month, what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick look at making our first beat bass synthesizer. So we start off with the standard Max patch. We make sure that it's unlocked. When the patch is unlocked, this left sidebar uh, becomes all of the entities become available. The little circle with the B is our beep entity. If I click on that, we notice that we get a bunch of categories, and for each category, we get a bunch of items. Those items are actually little objects that represent the beep modules. So what we're going to start off with is putting together our basic input system. If we take the MIDI category and start off selecting the MIDI input, you notice I just grab the name and drag it onto the patch. When I do that, I get my MIDI input module. I'm going to also immediately take something else, which is this thing called MIDI to signal. MIDI to signal, for those of you who were used to working with modular systems, is roughly the equivalent of a MIDI to CV converter. So, once I have these two together, I connect the MIDI output of my MIDI in module to the MIDI to signal module. Now, if I play my keyboard, you'll see the MIDI light lights up, but so does the one volt per octave output. It's a good sign that means that we've got a good connection there. I'm going to move this off to the side while I make my audio chain. First of all, we are going to start off with an oscillator. So I go to the oscillator category. A lot of oscillators. I'm going to take the basic one called oscillator. Drop it in. Next, I go to the filter category. Here's all of my filters. I'm going to grab an LPF, which stands for Low Pass Filter. And I'm going to connect my oscillator to my filter. Next, I'm going to go to the Level category and grab my VCA, because VCA sets level. Take the output of my filter, run it into the VCA. So there's my basic synthesizer chain. I can take my one volt per octave out of my MIDI converter and now I have my signal running through uh, my audio chain. However, those of you who used to working with modular systems know I'm missing something critical, and that's an envelope. So I'm gonna go back into my beep modules. I'm going to grab the envelope category, and from within there I have all these different envelopes. I'm gonna take a little simple ASR envelope, which is kind of a basic envelope type. I, I connect the gate output of my converter to my envelope, and then the output, which you see says zero to five volt, I take that over to the CV input of the VCA. And now I have all of the basic connections, except for one thing. I have to connect this synthesizer up to my audio system on my computer. So I go and get one last beep module, which is called a stereo output module. I use stereo just because that way I know later on if I want to expand this, I have both channels available. But I can just connect the one output to both of the inputs of the module, and I know I'm ready to go. You'll notice that this light says DSP on. That's a sign that tells me that the patch is ready to roll. If I play it now, I hear a quiet version of my synth. I'm going to lock my patch so that I have access to all the controls. And first of all, turn the level up on my output. It starts off pretty low so we don't blow our speakers. There we go. Now I have the basic synth sound. Next, I'm going to go to the filter. I'm going to turn off the semi. Semi allows me to make adjustments in semitones. I want to enter the pure frequency. So now... I have the ability to set my uh, filter frequency as I need. And finally, with my envelope, I'm going to tighten up the attack and extend the release. There we go. That's my simple beat based synthesizer. Again, remember, you want to start off with a basic patch, unlock the patch, open up the beep module list, select a category, Drag the stuff you need from the list of modules into your uh, patch, connect them up, and as long as you have it all connected to one of these stereo output modules, you're golden. I hope that helps you get started with Beep. You're going to love it. It's a lot of fun. Next time around, we'll take a look at some of the modules in more depth. But for this month, here's our couple of minutes of Beep. Have a great one.